Hey, Frankie. Frankie. Uh, you have a sec. Uh, we wanted to give you. We want to uh, take an interview. Oh yeah, I'm open. Okay. Oh, yeah. But I've never been in the RO building, so uh, you mind giving me a tour? Yeah, of course. Follow me. All right. Okay, so just for the camera, state your name. Um, Frankie Galavis. So what's your rank? I am a platoon leader. Uh, say that one more time. I'm a platoon leader. Okay. And uh, what are your responsibilities as a platoon leader? As a platoon leader, I have to check on my cadets. So in each, pl each company is a class period and each company is split into two groups, the platoons. I'm second platoon leader for Charlie Company, so I'm responsible for those cadets to learn all of their sta stationary movements and their marching movements. So how did you earn your current rank? Um, so we are given our ranks based on our experience and basically our experience and so. how they feel like we will fend off, or not fend off, but how we will be able to teach our cadets. This is the um, room where we keep all our stuff, like our uniforms, our barrettes, our medals. Okay. So, um, as a platoon leader, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that you are in charge of people, right? Yes. Okay, so, um, do you think that you'd make a good person for the people that you're under to talk to when they ever have a problem? Um, I try to be as open or able to, for people to come talk to me whenever they need me or even if it's a small problem or any issue, I want them to be able to trust me. What are your thoughts on your company commander? Um, our company commander, she's doing her best with what she has with um, staffing and all that and making it the best because we still haven't had our staff decided yet. So, yeah, she's making the best of it. Who is this year's uh, battalion commander? This year's battalion commander is Celeste Garcia, the student body president. Oh, Celeste, that's cool. Yeah. These are the bathrooms. <laughs> and out there is the soccer field. So it's a soccer field. So, uh, what are your thoughts on Celeste? Is she uh, good at, at, uh, as a battalion commander? Is she uh, okay? Do you think she could be better in some areas? Um, she's doing pretty well, I believe, so far, as in teaching us what we need to be taught, teaching our guide on correctly, and making sure that everybody knows what they're doing. Um, this is the LET 3 and 4 classroom, right here. And that's Colonel. Alright, just wanted to make sure you're fine with this, right? Okay, thank you. And this is the Let Two's classroom. So, um, when it came to the car wash, how much do you, like, know about that? So, do you know, like, how well you guys did? Um, so, actually, on this board over here, we had a competition, sort of, as to who sold the most. And it looks Echo Company sold the most tickets. The tickets were $5 each, and it was to raise money for the ROTC and so that we could be able to do more stuff like the military ball, the parade, which is actually canceled this year, and other events. So uh, which company are you part of? I am part of the com Charlie Company. I actually sold the most tickets in our company. How many did you sell? About 20, 25. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Uh, I'm actually part of leadership. <laughs> And uh, we were supposed to sell some because we had a car wash a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> sell a lot, so uh, <laughs> that's supposed to be. That's fine. Are there, uh, do you know if there are any more upcoming events that uh, the public's allowed to attend? Um, I know the Italian festival is coming up on October 9th and 10th, but it's over by the Nugget, I believe. 
Okay, so um, what do you know what Oro's plans are for the Italian festival? So each school, each ROTC is invited to come work as staffing and um, as staffing we just make sure that the registers are working, we sometimes dress up in costumes, we just work the whole thing because the casinos give funding to ROTC. Given the restrictions with COVID and everything, uh, do you know if military ball is still going to happen? Um, they're planning to do military ball. We're still working on it. Like with the Veterans Day Parade, with it being canceled, we're considering doing a march around the neighborhood so our students can still get a marching ball, um, parade grade. Would you recommend JROTC to a student? Um, I believe it's a good program. It, it takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication, but with it you get a, many credits, um, good experience. Also, if you are interested in the military, being in ROTC actually gets you more money when you get into the military. That's great. You hear that? <laughs> so for anyone who's uh, on the fence about joining ROTC, this seems like some pretty good encouragement. What are your plans after high school? Um, personally, I am planning to go to college. I'm still on the fence about what I want to major on in, but um, yeah. Any potential colleges? I was thinking UNR or the University of Oregon or literally anywhere. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about being in JROTC? Um, I think being able to talk to younger students and being able to teach them and give them experience and hopefully give them an environment where they feel safe to talk to upperclassmen. Is there anything you personally think you could improve on? Personally, I think communication and being able to talk to my cadets more and having a more open place for everyone, not just my platoon or the first platoon. Sorry. No, good, sorry. Um, yeah, just no, more open area and being able to teach them better. Okay, we keep talking about uh, RO and uh, JROTC, but what does it actually mean? What does JROTC mean? Okay, so there are different acronyms. So JROTC is Junior Reserve J <laughs> Training Corps, which just teaching kids about the military and stationary movements and such. Also right here is all of our ranking. We have our special ribbons, our correct ranking. I am this one. We get the, we earn these by either doing community service, um, doing events for ROTC to better our experience and other stuff like that. And uh, one last question. What are some of the skills that you think you bring to the program? Um, I feel like I'm better at talking in larger groups. Um, I feel like I have opened up more and come to accept more types of people and become more open as a person. Okay, thank you. Thank you.